In this tutorial, I'll show you how to take a Blender game and to save it as a game engine runtime. You get a standalone file with support files, and when you double click it, you get the game. I'll also show you in part two of the tutorial how to display the score and the health at the bottom of the screen in what's called a head up display. The starting file for this tutorial is the file created in the previous tutorial where I showed you how to add a splash screen to the end of a game. I've given meaningful names to some materials and some logic bricks that I didn't have time to do during the tutorial. I'll put the starting file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. I'm going to change the scene back to the game scene. I'm going to start the game. It's a very simple game. If you collide with a cactus, your health goes down. And if you collide with a can, your score goes up. The score and the health are displayed in the top left hand corner of the screen in the debug area. So how do we make a runtime version of the game? Well, we go to the file menu and user preferences. We click the add-ons button and the game engine category and we tick save as game engine runtime. We don't click save as default, we don't click install add-on, we just close the user preference window. Then when you go to file, export, there's this option save as game engine runtime. Very important to create a directory, I'll call this temp to go into the directory folder you've made and click the save as game engine runtime I've already done this so I'm just going to cancel it takes a few seconds for the runtime version of the game to be made and for the support files to be copied over but you should get something like this this is the runtime version of the game if I double click it it loads the game and the game plays, everything works, but unfortunately there's no debug area, so we don't know the Android's health and we don't know the score. So how do we fix that? The solution is to display the score and the health on objects within the game. But because this is a walk around game, the Android would walk away from the objects and you wouldn't be able to see them. So the solution is to make what's called a head-up display, and I'll show you how to do that in part two of this tutorial. 